Hello everyone and welcome to another commentaries from Ryan from Anime and Tunes. Now it's been a long time since we did the whole commentaries. Uh, actually we only had one video out and that was during our 500 sub special and we're almost near 900 which I'm thanking everyone for that. Like everyone's keep on subscribing even though we're not as consistent as we used to be because of, you know, we're, me and Shaq are both lazy. And also because of freaking school semester this year, it's just, just biting me in the ass. But anyway, today we're going to be doing three commentaries on, well, basically three videos that I'm commentating on. And the first one I want to talk about is the dreaded, I have to talk about this, it's Bikini Warriors Episode 1 Anime Review First Impressions. I swear, everyone gave me so much, like, just laughing at me about that, like, it, it, like within within my not not people randomly, just basically people in our circle of uh, otaku pirates, and they've been saying like, when are we getting that Bikini Warriors episode two review and all that kind of stuff, and that's from like basically Light One and Danny Anime and in a uh, Super Saiyan Eight Geo Seven Twenty. I don't know what gave me the encourage to like just like review this like. This episode, I guess it's because, like, yeah, yeah, I, I catched on to the rest of the episode because, hey, I'm a dude and I like to, you know, like to see fan service stuff so from time to time. But, you know, I, I'm trying to figure out why I even just, just even just wanted to review this. I guess it's because it was on a good day because I had my new computer and then I like, I, I, I just wanted to do some reviews and that kind of stuff, and this was back in the day when I just was consistent, and I had, like, my own space, like, I could just, like, talk about stuff in my room, and before I went to college, and then all this kind of stuff, and then I got lazy, and then I got tired because of school, and all this stuff, and long hours, but back to the whole Bikini Warriors thing, you know, it's, it's an anime that some people would like, and some people that would annoy them, but it is not a number one fan service anime. Oh, also you can see my messed up bed, which is <laughs> not even made up. And I know my mom like gets on to me about that all the damn time. But um, with with this, uh, it's not even a top five fan service animes in my opinion. You know, if if I had to go by like top five, oh man, let's see if I can. Just get this off my mind. Uh, high School DxD, High School of the Dead. Uh, crap. I can't really name a few of them on top of my head right now. Uh, I, I would say Kaijo right now, but uh, I'll talk about that later. I will talk about that series later, probably next week or so. Maybe maybe even this weekend. I, I don't know, depending how I do. But with this, you know, review, I don't know why... You know, I can't I can't blame the alcohol on that because I, I was like 20 at the time and I didn't start drinking yet. So, yeah, I would have to blame my mind on that, just going through my brain, like just wanting to just review Bikini Warriors. Now let's go further back in time, back when me and Shaq did reviews together, basically anime reviews of like seasonal animes like we we did not get a chance to finish some of those animes well we finished those animes but we haven't finished reviewing them which it turns out you know we have like different schedules and basically we just like to like you know just talking about some of the episodes we want to talk about and you know here's some interesting thought here's an interesting thing about the whole setup now this was before I got to my new computer, and this was when I had my old computer. I, for, I think it was like XP laptop, and and you could see like with the bad quality video, like you could see like I, I'm looking at it right now on my new on my recent computer I got right now is on 480p, and I, and it still has 196 views. I mean, wow, doesn't that just piss you off? But you know. It, it got us pretty far in, until I had the computer problems with the editing and that kind of stuff. So, this was, uh, this is when we were reviewing the Nisekoi series, we were reviewing My Team Romantic Comedy, and I believe Food Wars as well. And, you know, like I told Shaq, I was pretty hyped with the second season, even though the second season was pretty much shit, because it didn't have 
none of the progressing plot development when we read in the manga. Uh, but we, we uh, if you guys don't know, me and Shaq are team Chikoge, uh, and uh, spoilers everyone, we won. We won that, and this was basically one of the few uh, pairing wars that we've been having um, that, that we agree on. Like, if it was like Naruto... I won that one because Sakura then went on Shaq's side. And if it was like Bleach, then I won that too because it was uh, Orihime that won in Nairokia. And if it was Ray Zero, that that's a tough call right there because I've been hearing that the visual novel or uh, light novel, whatever, is still going on. We don't have a declared winner, but I'm Team Amelia. <laughs> kind of ironic. Ryan goes for the giant opies, but Shaq goes for the flat opies. Flat is justice, I guess, is what Shaq would say. But, uh, hey, back to the commentary. But, um, interesting part about our setup here, like I said with the computer. We recorded this. If you guys can guess, where do you think we, we recorded this? I'm going to give you guys three options. Was it A, the library, 2, Shaq's house, C, Ryan's house, To answer A, you are correct. Yes, we were at a library. This was basically the only place that we could even record videos. Like, if, if we went to my house, it would be noisy because of my sisters and my dad. If they came downstairs and, like, went onto the big screen and watched whatever movie. And uh, with Shaq, uh, his house, I believe, is pretty noisy as well. But, um, you know... The library was basically the only place that we could just record, like, that's the only place we could only, like, get the, the time to, like, just have a chance to record videos when we wanted to do anime battles, podcasts, and anime reviews, manga reviews. So if you guys see us together, it's, we're, we're at the library, because there's nowhere else that we can go to. Now, with this, um, with the episode, I guess the episode was about, uh, I believe it was about, uh, Hana, you know, uh, uh, Chikoge's scary mother, and, um, you know, we just said, like, you know, we had the, it, it was pretty much in those dim field moments in this episode, and then we just talked about, like, how we just don't, we, we, we just, like, we would just stand up to Chikoge's mother if we were, like, Raku, and, you know, that's some pretty much interesting facts that you want to know about our whole setup with, uh, Nisekoi, and, and that's basically you want to know about our setup when we're just making videos, just, some uh, good detail there. And now here's the last video for the commentaries. This one has to be one of my favorite discussions that I have ever done. Luffy versus Doflamingo now. With, the, with Luffy versus Doflamingo, the, the predictions and theories video, that has been one of my favorites that I have ever recorded because even though that it wasn't during the HD era, which we're in right now, and basically, this was like the pre-HD, and, and, and it, if I look right here, if uh, which I'm looking at right now, it was at 480p, 480p. So um, you know, it still got me the, the the views that I needed for the video. Like, I I pretty much was pretty hyped with this, with just recording this. Like, I I can't remember what day it was because it was just uh, last year. And I'm trying to remember, like, was this when I went, when I was, like, after work, or was this, like, a, a day off? But it, it had to be either a Tuesday or Thursday when I, when I came home during the day. And, um, or a day off. I'm trying to remember, but it, besides the point, I remember I had this really hyped idea. It, it was either probably after the chapter was, was released when we got to seven, uh, chapter, uh, 780 or somewhere around, yeah, it had to be around that time when, when, uh, everyone was putting up, uh, you know, their reviews on, um, the, the chapter, and that was back when I did reviews as well for One Piece until I stopped because I went to do more predictions and theories and all that other junk, and, um, and I was talking about, like, how, how maybe Luffy would probably do some new technique, like, uh, like, the, the, uh, flaming, 
Uh, uh, frick, it's been a long time. Oh, Gandling Red Hawk, yeah, it, it, it was that, which I got right, like, I, I went, like, when the next chapter, or probably two chapters before, I, I'm pretty sure it was the next chapter, when, uh, when they revealed the whole Red Hawk Gandling, I was like, I was right, bitches, and I, I got, like, the editing, and it just, like, took one of the previous, um, files from the video from the prediction and put it into the newer one from the review and I said like I was right bitches and just like said like I was right on this like I, I, I couldn't believe it because oh I'm looking at it right now I actually put it back when I put subtitles on things a new gum gum gum, gum storm technique now that, that that's the thing I miss I miss doing the whole what I do still do the whole texting and the the text in the video sometimes, like, sometimes I would be this, like, just lazy on it. And there, there's another thing I was really hyped up. I wanted to see the, the full uh, armored hockey. Like, everyone, I got that idea from, like, pretty much fan art and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure it would happen because, you know, Vir Virgo could do that. And I couldn't see, I mean, I could see possibly Luffy even doing that, you know. That, that, that would have been awesome like, if there was, like, full... Uh, armored hockey, you know, and uh, and seeing that with Luffy, that would have been like like straight fire, like everyone would be going nuts over that. And um, there was another prediction in in this video which I also got right, which uh, Gear Fourth, like Gear Fourth. I was oh oh okay, there it is. There's the Gum Gum Jet Red Hot Gambling. Yeah, that was the one I got right. That was. I, I was flipping out. It, it was like midnight or the next morning when she when um when it was revealed that he actually did that, and I was like, I was right. And even though this wasn't the one that like that like took out Doflamingo, Gear Fourth did, and I was like, oh man, like the the um I guess I I can't I kind of got that right when um when they actually revealed Gear Fourth. And I'm trying to remember if I even put it in the video. I'm pretty sure I, I edited it out and I said that, like saying like, like I was right again, bitches, or something like that. I, I don't know, but I was, I, it was somewhere around there. And I, I, I gotta say, you know, with my predictions there, I'm glad they came true and I was right about them. That's it. That's it. That's it. The video's done. So. That's it on this commentary, and if you like what I had to say and all that kind of stuff, don't forget to um, drop us a like, and subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.